Okay, so let's solve this problem. So permutation and combination. So we have this given for number 1. So what is the number of permutation of 9 objects taken 3 at a time? Since this one is a permutation, so therefore, we're going to use this permutation formula, the N P R. Then, since N is the group of numbers, since we have 9 objects, so therefore, N is equal to 9. Then, since taken 3, so therefore, R is equal to 3. Then, substitute these values to this formula. So, we have now 9 taken 3. And to solve for this value, so using calculator, so we have 9, then this NPR, so taken 3, so the answer now is 504. So therefore, there are 504 ways. Then for number 2, how many line segments can be formed from 6 given points with no 3 of which are collinear? Since this problem has no order, so therefore this one is a combination. So using this combination formula, the n choose r. Then since we have these six uh, given points, so n that's equal to six. Then for r, since there's no three points in a line, so this means that there's only two points for every line segments. So therefore, R is equal to 2. Then substitute now these values to this formula. So we have now 6, choose 2. And to solve for the value, so we have 6. Then this NCR, choose 2. So the answer is 15. So there are 15 ways. Then for number 3, so in a 10 item mathematics problem solving test, so how many ways can you select 5 problems to solve? Since this problem has no order, so therefore this one is also a combination. So we have this N, C, R. Then for n, since we have 10 items, so n is equal to 10. Then r, since we need to choose 5 uh, problems, so this one is 5. Then substitute these values to this formula. So we have 10, then choose 5. So to solve now for the value, so we have 10. Then this ncr, so choose 5. So there are 252 ways. So this one is 252 ways. Then for number 4, so there are 8 basketball teams competing for top 4 standings. In order to move up to the semifinals, then find the number of possible rankings of the 4 top teams. Now since this problem has an order, so therefore, this one is a permutation, so NPR. So N, since we have 8 basketball teams, so N is equals to 8. Then R, so take in 4, so that's R is equal to 4. Then substitute to this uh, formula, so we have 8, then take in 4. So to find out the value, so 8, then this NPR, that's 4. So this one is 1,680. So there are 1,680 ways. Then for number 5, so how many polygons can be formed from 6 given points with no 3 of which are collinear? So there's no three points in a line, and since this problem has no uh, order, so therefore this one is a combination. 
So for number five, this one is a combination. So using this NCR formula, since we have these six uh, given points, and in a polygon, the smallest number of points is three, and that's triangle, then four for a rectangle, five for a, a pentagon, and six for a hexagon. So let's start with three points. So six points n is equal to six. Then possible numbers for r. So we can have three points for a triangle. So r can be four for a rectangle. r can be five for a pentagon. Or r can be six for a hexagon. So let's start with r equals three. So we have now this uh, 6 choose 3. Then r equals 4. So we have 6 choose 4. Then r equals 5. So 6 choose 5. Then r equals 6. So 6 choose 6. Then find the values. So for 3 points or triangle, we can have 6 then choose so NCR 3. So we can have 20 ways. So 20 ways to create a triangle. Then for a rectangle, so four points. So we have six, choose uh, four. So we can have 15 ways. So this one is 15. And for a pentagon, that's five points. So six, then choose five. It's six, so we have six ways. And for this uh, hexagon, so six, two, six, that's one. So therefore, the total number of polygons, so add all these numbers. So 20 plus 15, that's 35, plus six, that's 41 plus 1, that's 42. So these are the number of polygons can be formed from 6 given points.